Hi guys and welcome to the third edition of Electrosexual TV. I'll uh, move right along, I don't want to bore you or anything. Uh, Electrosexual Radio is now on di.fm slash electro the first Monday of every month from 12 to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will also be hitting up Fort McMurray, I've just got confirmation from them for May 25th and a show in Calgary on June 2nd, after which I will be heading straight over to Las Vegas for the Electric Daisy Carnival to check it out and flog some of my stuff down there. And after that, there's the Groove Festival, Fozzy Fest, which I think you guys are going to just love both of those events. And then, of course, we've got a few others in the summer, which I'll keep you posted. And you can also go to the uh, the website and, and check things out or my Facebook site at facebook.com slash DJMissDVS. Also look for the newest release of Electrosexual 26 Spring Baked on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com slash DJMissDVS. So we were talking about, um, you know, how Miss DBS came to be and what influences me and what inspires me in the music and keeps me going all the time. And, and I kind of left off right around where, you know, as a teenager, uh, listening to Daft Punk, Chris Shepard's radio show, uh, started listening to Digitally Imported back then as well and got really involved. I'd moved to Calgary shortly after that uh, from Nelson and uh, kind of got into the bar star scene so I wasn't really involved a whole lot in the industry but then uh, shortly after that, well about a year or two after uh, being a hardcore bar star and realizing uh, it was no fun. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to uh, go to some after hours parties uh, and get back into the rave scene and so when I got into the rave scene then uh, you know I was fairly green in the whole industry I didn't know anything about it but I remember seeing a girl spinning a uh, poi or fire poi at one of the nightclubs and I was like I really want to learn how to do that and when I went to the after hours in Calgary at um, the warehouse I saw some people spinning poi and I was like oh my gosh can you teach me how to do it and you know they were pretty reluctant at first and they didn't want to really share the stage so to speak but who could resist me <laughs> but, so they ended up teaching me how to do it and I uh, totally appreciate it because it changed my life and I practiced spinning poi almost like every day all the time um, and then I got good enough that I we started getting hired to do gigs I work for you know Bacardi um, let's see Gold Club series uh, spun at the palace the whiskey like all over the place and uh, Olympic Oval um, Telus Convention Center, you name it. Uh, we did uh, annual professional fire shows at, at uh, Motion Ocean Music Festival uh, with a, a big troop of people where I choreographed. Uh, we, we taught people, we had lessons. Uh, and then after that, we, we started making and, and selling the stuff. And that's where kind of Rise from City came in is because we used to go to all of these, uh, you know, massives and, and parties in, in, in Calgary, but uh, nobody had anything with them. And all they had was just like, you know, a little bit of you know they'd go out and get glow sticks like someone like me I would have to go and look for white gloves and glow sticks and sparklers and blinky lights and red bulls and bring it all with me and then I was just like you know what my business partner and I were sitting around one day and, and thinking about it and I was like you know what we should start a company that sells this stuff at, at raves and, and festivals and, and so that's when Rise Sun City was born uh, so you know, Jared and I, we worked really hard at that. We, we sold a ton of stuff. There's probably about 60 products in total uh, at Ryzen City. And we set up at like all the major raves, festivals, nightclubs, uh, all over uh, Western Canada. It was, it was a lot of fun uh, while the rave scene was at its peak in, in Alberta. So uh, that's kind of, you know, where everything started and then after we started running the show for a little while we started putting uh, some of the money that we made uh, which we didn't really make a whole lot but we just wanted to, to you know spread the love and the joy of um, you know partying to everyone else and, and create kind of like an atmosphere at these parties so when we went to it there was people like spinning poi and spinning hula hoops and spinning flags and they had glow sticks and they had blinky lights and they had red bulls and everything was just like ah! so it was a lot of fun uh, but then we soon wanted we wanted to sh uh, throw our own shows and do our own thing and we couldn't have done it without the help of some very influential people uh, out there some people that had given us a lot of great advice uh, PK sound uh, there's uh, James Catalyst who helped us out a lot and of course they couldn't have done it without you know our good friends uh, our close friends uh, Janae uh, Nicole uh, Tara 
uh, just to name a few of the people that were there from the very beginning of Rise and City and of course at to the very end of Rise and City so uh, that pretty much wraps up about you know what happened after high school and getting the company going learning how to spin poi and performing in front of crowds uh, I had a lot of fun doing it and then we started doing our own shows uh, in, until the scene kind of died off and, and then after that I went to uh, college and I went to take my uh, business administration um, but I'll save that for afterwards because you guys want to check out the next Electrosexual which will be coming out as soon as possible. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you so much for tuning in and again, please, for the love of music, go to soundcloud.com slash DJ Miss DBS. Tune in to di.fm slash electro for digitally importers Electrosexual the first Monday of every month from 12 to 2. And hit me up on Facebook if you have any questions or thoughts or just want to say hi. I love you guys, and thank you so much for all the support, and and uh, we'll see you next time. Mwah!